Pinnacles National Park, we see lots of unique structures that are made of igneous rocks. Most scientists believe that these rocks were made from volcanic and tectonic plate activity. So what does this mean? What are tectonic plates and how do they form these features? Well, scientists believe that the Earth's crust is divided into large areas called tectonic plates. These plates move because of convection currents in the mantle. Basically, materials that are closer to the core heat up, which causes it to rise. As it becomes farther from its heat source, it eventually cools and falls back down toward the core. This allows less dense, hotter material to rise and take its place. This process is similar to a boiling pot on a stove. These convection currents create movement underneath the tectonic plates, which causes the plates to move as well. At the borders of these plates, there are different types of boundaries. Some plates move away from each other. This is called a divergent boundary. One example of a divergent boundary can be found in the country of Iceland, where the North American and Eurasian plates border. Along this border is Thingvellir National Park. Typically, at a divergent plate boundary, you can find ridges, as the exposed magma comes through between the plates and it hardens. The second type of boundary can be found just off the coast of Nicaragua, where the oceanic Cocos Plate and the Caribbean Plate collide. When plates move toward each other, it is a convergent boundary. Convergent boundaries typically have mountain ranges, volcanoes, and subduction zones. A subduction zone is when two plates collide and the more dense plate is forced underneath the other plate. The final type of boundary runs through the state of California. Here we are at the San Andreas Fault. This is a transform plate boundary, which means that the plates are sliding past each other. And there can be a lot of earthquakes in this area. At the San Andreas Fault, we find the Pacific and North American tectonic plates. And as you can see, they are sliding past each other, which reflects a transform plate boundary. As mentioned before, you can find faults at transform boundaries. Now let's explore Pinnacles National Park and see how tectonic plate activity can affect the landscape. Scientists believe that the motion created by the plate shifting caused several large volcanoes to split, and they continue to move away from each other today. Scientists believe that these pinnacles were formed from large volcanic eruptions from the Nenak volcano. After that, a lot of tectonic plate activity shifted this entire landscape to this area. And that is why we see so many igneous rocks and these unique rock formations at Pinnacles National Park. Here at Pinnacles, you can get a great idea of what a transform plate boundary can do.
You can usually get an idea of what type of plate boundary is in a certain area based on the geography of the land surrounding it. 